What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and I'm very exciting to, excited to uh, present to you a new advanced Revit course that I've just created and it's an advanced Revit family course and the topic of uh, today's course will be Windows in Revit. So I've always wanted to create an advanced course where we talk about families. On this channel I usually talk about just fancy families that are easy to make and look nice but that's not all uh, the whole story behind family creation. So I've uh, done a lot of work in the past and I still do from time to time where uh, I contact different manufacturers and I create their products in Revit. Now this window is something that I've created as, as an exercise uh, for you where you can see what uh, manufacturers want to have in their uh, windows and it's not only something that should look fancy but it should al also be very functional. So we have this window and of course it's a, a basic parametric window so here maybe we can change the type so let's change it to a smaller PVC window or maybe we can select it and change it to a larger aluminum window for example. So these are only the types that we have over here. But that's not the only part. Of course something that I always found annoying with all of the window families is when I go here in level 1 as you can see it's fixed at a certain position. Uh, but usually you, you want to place your windows somewhere along your thermal uh, layer. So here we have this uh, thermal insulation layer and I would like to have my window aligned with that. Now most windows or pretty much all windows that I've ever used in Revit didn't have an option to set the depth uh, offset of the window within the wall. Now this one that I have created within this course does so I can here set I don't know something like I think it's 90 and yeah there you go now it aligns with this uh, uh, thermal uh, insulation layer. Also I show you uh, much more options, tips and tricks on how to create these windows. For example this is very simple geometry of the window but still we added a separate detail family as a nested family within this to have all of these chambers. Now this, this is a simplified family just to represent all of those uh, chambers inside of the window profile and as you can see over here this is what that uh, family looks like. Of course you can make it more complex this is just a presentation. Uh, then we also have this is what it looks like in the family editor this window we have this handle that's also modeled as a separate family so if I go here in 3D there we go so it's a nested family now let's go back to the actual family and here uh, let's go into family types and as you can see we've got we've got a lot of these options and parameters over here that they've set and especially the important parts are the these identity data that we have over here that's really important to manufacturers that that's what allows manufacturers to sell uh, their products through your Revit family and uh, that's what it's all about that's how you get work uh, for creating Revit families of course everything's parametric and maybe if we go here to the uh, exterior side you're going to see that we have yeah we have or in the interior side yeah we have a bunch of these parameters extra dimensions and I show you all of the different ways of approaching working in Revit how to model the geometry how to model the voids how to add parameters reference planes what is everything for different approaches to modeling uh, uh, the different elements so I go all over all of that uh, within this course so if you want to get uh, full access to this course as well as the course I did previously and all of the courses that I'm going to be doing in the future check out my patreon first link in the description if you go for the Balkan Architect courses tier at $15 a month you get access to all of these courses they're uh, going to be over uh, one hour long and I go really in depth at uh, one topic or uh, multiple topics every week and every week I give you a new course that covers everything and if you're just at regular uh, Balkan Architect premium uh, $5 tier uh, you're going to get all of the exercise files and all of the project files that I used for uh, creating this course. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this little presentation of this course. I'm really excited to bring you these uh, kind of a uh, in-depth, longer uh, courses where I can explain some things that don't really work in the short uh, YouTube tutorial format. Okay, so that's pretty much it, and I'll be back with another free regular Balkan Architect tutorial in a couple of days. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.